Now, I don't know about y'all, but the last thing I want is a cat with that stanky breath. And I got a story to tell you, but today we got to talk about it. where that stanky breath come from and how to put it back where it come from. Yeah, let's hit it. You are now rocking with the cool cats and me, the DEV. So did y'all know that the experts say 85% of all cats have some form of dental disease and that a cat's teeth and gums have naturally occurring bacteria. Now, as that bacteria multiplies, if it isn't removed through some type of dental care or something, it builds up. And that's how dental disease and all that goes down. Now, because 85% of them have dental disease, I'm not saying that cats having bad breath is normal. No, not at all. If your cat has bad breath, that means that something is wrong somewhere and you need to get to the bottom of it for sure. So look, a while back, your boy, bruh man, had a problem with his breath that was pretty bad. Nah, y'all don't understand. This boy's breath was horrible. Karate ain't got nothing on the way his breath was kicking. And of course, he's the one that likes to be all up in my face all the time. It was a nightmare. But we got it straight. And when I took all of them to the vet not too long ago, they checked him out. So he's cool. But I'm not painting this picture, y'all, of how bad this was. I wish I could really think of something to compare this to. I'ma keep thinking. If I think of something, I'll let y'all know. But let's talk about some of the things that cause bad breath in cats. When a young cat's adult teeth start to come in, somewhere around six months or so, they can get a case of bad breath. Sometimes this resolves itself, but not always. So it's definitely something that you have to stay on top of. Another thing that can cause bad breath in cats is if they get something foreign stuck in their mouth, in particular in their gums, and then if infection sets in. This can stink like you won't believe. This is what happened to your boy. Speaking of which, if I was to compare Broadman's man's breath at that time to stinky feet, Broadman's man's breath would win. Now bad breath in cats is not always caused by things directly in the mouth either. Sometimes there could be metabolic or systemic causes. Things like diabetes, or kidney or liver disease. But the most common cause of bad breath in cats is dental disease. This is caused by a buildup of bacteria and tartar on the teeth that is usually either yellow or brown. You don't want this to progress because it damages the support structures around the teeth which will eventually lead to the loss of teeth. Some of the funkiest smells that I've ever smelled is when I was young, my mother cleaning those chitlins. Oh my God. Or what about going to an outdoor event 
and having to use one of those porta potties. Disgusting. Well, bruh man's breath knocked those out the park. For real, though. So now, let's focus on some of the remedies for cat's bad breath. With cats, this stain is chest, not checkers. They tend to make things difficult when it comes to their health. But it's up to us to stay on top of the game. Now, little moves that you make add up. So you might want to add a pinch of fresh parsley to their food every now and then. It has odor reducing properties as well as other health benefits. Also, see if your cat will eat a cooked carrot. They also help. Stepping up your attack a bit, they make cat treats specifically for cat breath. Now some of these may be high in sugar, so be careful. Organic is always best. Now bruh man's breath is so bad. How bad is it? If it were between bruh man's breath and a fart, the fart wouldn't stand a chance. Turning the heat up on a challenger, coconut oil on your calf teeth and gums once a week with a toothbrush, now you ain't playing. And speaking of a toothbrush, brushing your cat's teeth regularly is one of the main weapons in your arsenal. They say every day, but sometimes this can be a challenge, especially if you have multiple cats. But if you do it as many times as you can during the course of a week, you are fighting against dental disease. Also, try giving them a dental treat after brushing. It further freshens the breath and the cat's association with this and brushing will only help you in the future. I'm telling y'all, if it was between bruh man's breath and a skunk, okay, okay, okay. I get this one to the skunk, but only by a nose. Be consistent with taking your cat to the vet for a checkup, at least annually, and get cleanings as needed. Now that's royal. Checkmate. Now remember, treat your animals well. They didn't ask to be there with you, but now all they have is you. Treat them like family, fam.